What's up, everybody? Quick or maybe not so quick update video on my last video, a logical Superman. Um, something kind of surprising happened. Doug, you know, FOTM1 here on YouTube from the Fellowship of the Martyrs, actually left a little comment, a little text comment on my video, and that's surprising to me. It wasn't, like, totally shocking, but it doesn't happen very often. I mean, usually when I make a video like this to Christians, like, nine times out of ten, what happens is first I'm blocked. I mean, that's a, that's a given, and Doug has not blocked me, to his credit. Um, secondly, they don't accept my video as a video response. And Doug, I got to say, I'm a little disappointed you haven't done that, but that's okay, brother. I, uh, I let that one slide. They certainly don't leave comments on my video. And if I've left any comments on their video, they scrub my existence from their channel. They block me and they pretend they never got the video. And Doug, to his credit, has not done that. And, uh, he left kind of a sarcastic little comment. I'm going to read it to you. At least I thought it was sarcastic. Maybe that's just the cynic in me. Uh, but I'm going to read it to you and let you decide for yourself. Doug says, Oh man, multiple exclamation points. You're hilarious, Paul, multiple exclamation points. Thanks so much. I'm just really enjoying your take on all this. Keep listening. I'm likely to continue to say lots of stuff that you can talk about. I'm going to catch them all. Bwah, ha, ha, ha. And, uh... There's a little bit of sarcasm there, Doug. I think you and I both know it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I heaped sarcasm on you in my video, okay? I think I think there's not enough impoliteness in the world. Let me explain. I think you and I would agree on this. There's a time and a place for politeness, Doug. And there's a time and a place to put all that bullshit aside and just say what you fucking mean. To be a straight shooter. And you look like a straight shooter to me, Doug. You look like a guy that would agree with that statement. So we've got some common ground already. Um... So I started to think about this all day, the fact that you were willing to leave this comment and the fact that you actually may have watched some of my video. Um, I thought about this today, and I came up with this great idea, and I want to pitch it to you, Doug, and I'm hoping that you'll uh, take the time to listen. Um, I want to talk about your ministry, okay? Uh, more specifically, the YouTube arm of your Fellowship of the Martyrs ministry. Um, and I'm going to be very blunt and honest with you. Uh, it's a dead ministry, Doug. And I, I think you know what I mean. For those of you that don't know what I mean, uh, it, it's a circle jerk. It's a circle jerk. A, a circle jerk, one of the definitions of a circle jerk is people that already agree on something. They all get together and they stand in a circle. They already agree, okay? And they talk about uh, the subject that they agree about. And they all slap each other on the back and, and high-five each other over how hard they agree with one another. Uh, that's a circle jerk. And, Doug, your your YouTube ministry is a circle jerk, man. Um, you're... you're your comments are locked down, uh, although I did see that you accepted some uh, negative comments on, on the Python video, which is kind of cool. But most of your videos, you go through the comments, and it's all positive shit. It's all, oh, Doug, thank Jesus for your ministry. Um, so it's a circle jerk. You're preaching to the choir, man. And, and a guy like you who believes he's anointed of God ought to be waiting out amongst the sinners. And let me tell you, Doug, I'm a sinner. In your eyes, I am a sinner. I... I'm a blasphemer, uh, I, I, I'm a Christ denier, I'm a non-believer, um, and I've got a small army of them that I bring with me here on YouTube, everywhere I go. You ought to be talking to us, Doug. I, 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 I have a hard time believing that God would anoint you with these special Jesus powers and not want you to use them on, on the, the masses of people that need them most. I, I have a hard time believing that God would want you in this insular little community where you all just high-five each other. And I want to give you an opportunity to do that, Doug. Now, another thing I know about you from watching your videos is that you're not new to the Internet. Uh, you talk in your videos about how you used to be a gamer and uh, God delivered you from gaming. And I, I, I think that's a shame because you're missing some really cool shit. But, um, you know, you used to be a gamer. You said you liked first-person shooter type games. So you, you probably played some Counter-Strike or some, some Half-Life or some Quake or some Doom. Um, you, you, you have the whole uh, World of Warcraft video, and it takes a certain amount of savvy to download that and play that. So I know you're not new to the Internet. And let me tell you, Doug, in case you didn't know, I'm not new to the Internet either. And uh, as guys that have been around the Internet block, we both know that on the Internet, talk is fucking cheap. Okay, in fact, in the world at large, talk is fucking cheap. If, if talk is cheap in the world at large, talk on the Internet is goddamn near free. Okay. And that's what you do on your YouTube channel. That's what you do with your YouTube ministry. A lot of talk and not a lot of walk if you get my fucking drift, okay? I can sit around and tell all kinds of amusing little stories all day long, okay? I can tell you about how I'm psychic. I can tell you about how I can heal the sick. 
how I can walk on water, how after you know a long day's work, my, my, my taint and balls don't smell. But we, we both know, because we've been around the Internet, that just because the words come out of my mouth doesn't necessarily make it fucking so. The Internet is filled to the brim with people that talk, 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 talk all day. But when it comes time to deliver, not many people do, Doug. And that's your ministry right now. All right, it's cheap, and it's a circle jerk, and I want to help you with that. I want to give you the opportunity to put your fucking money where your mouth is, Doug. I want to give you that opportunity. So here's what I want to do. I want, to, I want you to take these powers that you have, these God-given powers, these anointed spiritual powers that you claim to have, the, the, the powers to see demons and to cast off demons and to speak to, directly to God, and I want you to apply that to me. Okay, I want you to apply it to me in front of an audience. Okay, what does that mean? That means that you and I do a blog TV room or a stickum room, or in the absence of that, we you know we do a Skype conversation and I tape it. And I want you to apply that shit to me. I want you to put your money where your mouth is. I don't want you to have a dead ministry. I don't want you to have a cheap ministry anymore, Doug. I want you to have a ministry that puts its fucking money where its mouth is. Do it to me. Now, let me, let, me, let me lay this out because I know I, your, your eyes are probably rolling already, Doug. Let me lay this out to you. Let me tell you what I can promise to you. Full disclosure, okay? Full disclosure, I come into this as an atheist. I do not believe in your God. I don't believe in any gods, okay? I'm also 100% skeptical when it comes to your claims that you have supernatural power, powers. I don't believe that you see demons. Not really. I don't believe that you talk to any god, and I don't believe that you're capable of healing schizophrenia and sickness like you claim in your videos. I don't claim that. I-, I don't think any of that is true. Okay, but I will remain as open-minded as I possibly can. What does that mean? That means that if during our talk we're having a Q and A session, you're t- you're speaking in tongues, you're praying, I will try. And if I feel something, if I feel a tingling in my nether regions, or a or my heart starts beating faster, or uh, I feel a presence in the room, or the anointing of God comes on me and I tear my shirt off and do a backflip, I will not edit that out of the video. I will not keep that to myself. I will be honest. I will be absolutely open and honest. I want this thing, if it happens, to be right out in the sunlight so everybody can see it. And, and, And I want you on board with me here, Doug. So before I wrap it up here, I'm hoping that I don't hear one of two things from you. Okay? There are two things that I think you might say, and I'm hoping I don't hear them. Number one, I'm hoping you don't say that the Jesus goggles don't work over the Internet. Because right off the bat, I would say, why the fuck not? These are powers given to you by an omnipotent and omniscient God. Why the fuck would God give you a gift and and, and call you to make this YouTube channel and call you to make this YouTube ministry and not have that gift work over the Internet? God can do anything, right? Why can't you use... I hope you don't do that, because I'm going to have to call you a fucking charlatan, okay? And number two, I hope you don't use this excuse. Well, you're a non-believer and you're a skeptic and you have to be a believer. You have to be accepting of this stuff for it to work. Because you know what? That is the bullshit, hidey hole excuse that every bass backwards fucking psychic, palm reader, gypsy fortune telling fucking asshole since the beginning of time has used when somebody tries to put them in a controlled environment and says, okay, read this guy's mind. Okay, that's always the excuse for why that shit doesn't work. Because there's trickery involved, okay? And I hope you don't use that because everybody everybody knows. I hope that I hear from you, Doug. I hope that I hear from you. I really do. And everybody else, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And, you know, tell me you're not excited about the prospect of this. Tell me I'm not the only one that's excited. I mean, can you imagine Doug and I, all of you get to be in the fucking audience when it happens. I record it. I put it on YouTube. It could be absolutely awesome. And, Doug... Don't downplay the fact that it could add some legitimacy, even if nothing happens. Even if you and I get together, I don't feel the anointing. Uh, Even if nothing happens, you still gain legitimacy. And I I don't think I I just speak for myself here. Just the fact that you're willing to show up and put your money where your mouth is gives you a little bit of credibility in my mind. So think it over. And uh, everybody else, peace.